can I be honest? I don't really like doing intros. This is episode, I forget, I think it's six of my Better Minecraft series. But the first thing I wanted to do for this episode was go to this mushroom island. They had these little mushroom guys and I wanted to get some at my base. So I crafted a boat because I couldn't take my dragon, which would make life so much easier. But this joke just writes itself. Like, I don't need to say anything. But look at how cute these little guys were. I just, I was determined to get them at my base. Like, I just could not leave them. I had to come back because they had a little brown one too. Like, I just couldn't leave that one. I needed them both. It was essential. On my way home, though, I found these ducks. And I love ducks, just to an unhealthy amount. So I put them on a leash and towed them home. And I was so excited because I knew exactly where I wanted to put a duck pond. But I still needed to find ducks for that, and I finally found them. Like, it's been on my to-do list for so long, and I finally found them. But I had to name one of the mushrooms. I would like to name both, but I only had one name tag. So I think this is a fitting name. Little Mushroom Boy. I think it's perfect. It, it, it fits his description so well. And I don't regret spending an hour and a half getting these. I think it was a, definitely a good investment of my time. But I had to go to the nether. I'd been putting it off for so long. It was just time. Like if I didn't go now, I would never go. And I needed to get blaze rods. I'm so glad I took a dragon with me because it only took me like five minutes to find the fortress. But I didn't want to come back to the nether because I hate coming to the nether with like a burning passion. But I wanted to get 20 blaze rods and just leave. And that was it. But I didn't expect to have this, this guy. I don't know what his deal was, but like he sucked. I like how I said I was gonna leave, but before I would leave, I went to this place. It had the, the netherite scraps and nether wart. Not nether wart. Yeah, nether wart. That's what it's called. Which I needed nether wart. Like, I couldn't find it in the nether fortress, so I thought, you know, I'll find it. Oh there. my god! But it had netherite scraps. Granted, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it because I don't have however many you need for a full set of armor and tools. And I don't really feel like coming back to the nether, so we'll see how that goes. But it's fine. This is what this the dragon's a pain in the ass to get through the portal, I'll admit that. When I got home though, I wanted to hatch another dragon, and this one would be a nether dragon. But I was sort of struggling to get the nether dragon. Because I thought it was a, like the magma blocks, but no. It was the netherrack blocks. And I was hoping that the blue ones were going to be fine because I didn't have the red ones and I didn't want to have to go find them because I didn't want to have to go back to the nether as well since that's just, that place is just horrible. Which is, I hate it. <laughs> like I hated the nether before but on this mod I hate it more. And I have some really sad news. Two out of the five axolotls have died. So that's sad. But anyways, on a happier note, look at how cute he is. Isn't that just the cutest thing you've ever seen? Like, I know I say that about all of my dragons, but this one is just adorable. And I was able to tame another cat with the remainder of the fish. And this one's name is Phil. But I wanted to go to this place that I've been meaning to go to for a while. It's like this gigantic structure. So I jumped on Zeus since his structure is like, give or take 3,000 blocks away. But I got really lucky since this place had ender pearls, and I really needed ender pearls since I wanted to go to the end like really soon. But this place is awesome. I would like to live here, but there's just it's riddled with spawners, and I'm too lazy to you know get rid of them. This place had bees too, but the funny thing about the bees in this mod, like the axolotls, they're just. They just scuffed. Like, I don't even know what he's trying to do. <laughs> I don't know if he's trying to sting me or... <laughs> but he's just broken. But, as I said, it's riddled with spawners and, like... <laughs> and everything wants to kill you. 
but there was a shit ton of ender pearls, so that was good. And after, you know, get those. And some good enchanting books, emeralds. Diamonds as well, I found a whole bunch of diamonds. But these guys, I cannot count how many times I almost got knocked off the side of this structure by these just guys with the insane knockback. You know, I don't really know why I keep collecting dragon eggs now. Like, I have plenty. I don't need them, we all know that. <laughs> But it's fine. You know, I could probably turn this place into some kind of XP farm. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I could do it. But these guys come out of nowhere. Sometimes they drop from the, the ceiling and just scare the absolute shit out of you. I didn't want to keep pressing my luck, so I thought I should leave soon. And since these guys had spawners and they didn't just spawn in naturally, I thought I should probably leave. Like, it's probably a smart idea. When I got home though, I was really excited to build a duck pond. And here is where I was gonna put it. It was gonna look gorgeous. Like, I'm really happy with how this turned out. My real estate value is just so good right now. Like with the axolotl pond and now I've got the duck pond. But I started off by connecting the three ponds, or puddles, they're more like puddles, to make one really big one, so the ducks would have, you know, space. And I thought I should make like a little thing up here, so I could have a little waterfall dripping down. And I think this brought the whole thing together, like it looked so much better when I added this, because like, it was just too, like, same-same, and it needed some more levels to make it look better. But it turned out better than what I was expecting this pond. Does anyone else do this or is it just me? Because I think it look, it brings so much colour to everything. Like a lot of people say it's weird, but I do it. And you know you're rich when you can add dragon eggs to make things look cool. But look at how cute these ducks were. Like, oh my god. These ducks have made my, like, day. But like, why has Mojang not added ducks? I don't think you really need to get onto this. Like, they're just adorable. And look at how gorgeous this pond is. I thought I should make a to-do list, so I've got build barn, get ender dragon egg, prep for ender dragon fight, build a spot for mushrooms, fight ender dragon, build ender dra build dragon area, get wolf, do something with the village, find turkeys, build a chicken coop, build a storage spot, and I don't know what, it, what the other one was. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed, please subscribe and leave a like. It really does fuel my ego. Like, a lot don't think you understand.